Hi, some CA students have reached out to me with this problem. I have been through, through this phase. I myself was a big time procrastinator. See, I never got a rank in CA exams, but I'm sure if there was a competition of procrastination, I would have won something. There is a vicious circle actually that many of us easily fall into. And that is the circle of procrastination and negative self-talk. Why? And what is the relation between these two? Let's see. Just visualize that you plan to complete a task or a tough chapter of advanced accounting or maybe direct X. And you procrastinate it to the point where you have to either leave that chapter or task or you finish it in a lousy manner. I'm sure you're going to be very unhappy with your own work and you may feel like a failure, right? And since you feel like a failure, your approach to your next task or your next chapter is going to be less confident. And what's worse, your belief that you are a failure is going to be reinforced further and you become even more vulnerable to the temptations of procrastination. And then comes negative self-talk, which leads you to procrastinate more and more. One highly recommended approach in this type of situation is to become your own cheerleader. Why? It is because with a vicious cycle of procrastination, you might engage in self-criticism, comparing yourself to others, or beating yourself up for a perceived failure. So how you can become your own cheerleader? First thing is teach yourself to recognize when you are getting engaged in negative self-talk. So for example, if you blame yourself when something goes wrong, or if you attribute perfectly understandable mistakes to your own mistake, to your own laziness and attitude, or if you expect to fail at a task before you, you have even started it. If you are engaging in these type of self-talk, then it means you are a victim of negative self-talk. And now the good thing is now you know it. So put a positive spin to these negative self, negative self talk. For example, if you make a mistake here and there, remind yourself that everyone makes mistake and actually making mistake makes us human. Let's take another example. If you are convinced that there is no point in starting a project, because it will never turn out the way you want it. Tell yourself that nobody is perfect. Not even Picasso was satisfied with his paintings. So my friends, this was a short video on some of my learnings around procrastination, especially during our CA times. I hope you liked this short video. See you in the next one.